Okay, here we go mga ka -noipy. welcome back to my channel. My name is Forex Noipy, and uh, you are tuned in because you found a thumbnail. <laughs> At malamang is nagtatanong kayo kung ano ba tong Ethereum na to, matagal ko na tong naririnig. Well, mga ka -noipy, stay tuned, stick around. I will give you my opinion around Ethereum for such. Okay, uh, pero bago ang lahat mga kanoipi, kung bago ka dito sa channel na to, please hit subscribe and the notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga nilalabas nating videos. At sa pagkakataong ito mga kanoipi, ngayon lang yata tayo maglalabas ng video na walang kinalaman sa Forex. <laughs> At hindi rin tayo makapagbigay ng updates. Um, I wanted to compile them and put it in one video. Pero mga kanoipi, marami kasing nagtatanong sa akin at may mga nare-receive ako messages about Ethereum for such. Bago lang kasi ito mga kanoipi, it was just released I think February of 2020. And uh, I wanted to talk about this to be able to answer the questions as well of the others and yung mga kanoipi natin dyan na gustong maglagay ng pera sa Ethereum for such. Okay? So, mga kanoipi, ano ba yung Ethereum? Ang Ethereum, it's like Bitcoin at parang gold cryptocurrency. So, para siyang digital money na pinangala ng Ethereum. Kaya may makikita kayo minsan bilog na coin tapos nakalagay, naka-imprint Ethereum. And, and that type of currency is... Um, ran or being used by the system called for such. Kung makikita nyo dito sa screen ay nandito ako sa uh, isang website ng forsage.io at dito nakalagay is the world's first 100% decentralized hindi ko alam kung ano ibig sabihin nun. at meron dito registration, may marketing video, video may login at nakalagay dito decentralized marketing is powered by the revolutionary smart contract technology the code for forsage smart contract can be seen here fully open so you can be completely confident in the security and long-term operation of this project sabi nila hindi daw to investment sabi nila hindi daw siya investment it is a system daw uh, tingnan natin mga kanoibi pwede naman natin siyang discover and then later on I will tell you what my opinion is again mga kanoibi uulitin ko lang ha whatever I'm going to say in this video is just purely my opinion okay it is not subject to criticizing anything it's just my opinion uh, being in the financial market business so nakalagay dito zero risk ayan on february 6 2020 for such developers deployed a self-executing smart contract on the ethereum ethereum blockchain that exists in perpetuity and cannot be modified by any entity nosebleed <laughs> So, binasa ko na to kanina, itong mga bagay na yan, okay? Tapos, nag-research ako, no? nagtingin ako ng mga bagay about Ethereum and cryptocurrency. Um, and I found out that two months ago, uh, to be able to register in here, if I click the registration, to be able to register here, you have to pay 0.05 Ethereum. That's around 550 pesos for registration. Um, ngayon, ang tanong, is this a good place or platform to put your investment in. Uh, mga kanoy, piyang sasabihin ko lang sa inyo is regardless kung anong gawin nyo o sa inyo ilagay yung pera nyo, ang pinakamahalaga is you analyze the business model of what you're getting yourself into. Especially if there's money involved. And Ethereum or Forsage, this is a gifting system. Kasi wala kang binibenta dito. Okay, pag bumalik tayo dito sa front page nila, wala kang binibenta dito mga kanoy pi. Ito, makikita nyo, merong marketing video. Pili ka lang dyan ng language. Tapos, sabihin na sa inyo kung para saan yan. Right? Uh, if you don't keep an open mind, uh, you will fall into what they wanted you to think. Okay? I'm not saying it's bad. Okay? Hindi ko sinasabing masama siya. Sinasabi ko lang na 
regardless of the flowery words, you have to analyze the business model of Versace. Okay? Um, kasi dito, wala kang binibenta eh. Nagbibigayan lang kayo ng pera and by definition, that is already called a gifting system. And when, when you give, you recruit, you earn money, you have upper levels, you have downlines and all that. And that already is called a pyramid scheme. Okay? So, tingnan natin kung ano ba yung pyramid scheme sa mga hindi nakakaalam. So, this is a definition by Andrew Blumenthal. Pyramid scheme is a sketchy and unsustainable business model. Okay, this is coming from investopedia.com. Um, it says, where a few top-level members recruit new members who pay upfront cost up the chain. In this case, this is the 0.05 Ethereum or 550 pesos uh, to those who enrolled them. As newer members in turn recruit underlings of their own, a portion a portion of the subsequent fees they receive is also kicked up the chain often called pyramid scams these operations are illegal in some countries okay um so mga kanoy p para sa akin kasi ang pyramid scheme and I, I'm not calling it scam is the only disadvantage for me when we talk about the pyramid scheme is you have to recruit in order for you to earn or earn more pero pag naubusan na ng tao ang naubusan na ng taong magjo-join sa yo or sa company itself kawawa yung late sumali uh, I'm not saying na after lumago ng pyramid you know the whomever is the CEO of the company just disappears taking all the money away which makes it a scam. While that's true, I'm not saying that it's true for everyone. Meron namang mga naka-business model using a pyramiding scheme that's sustaining. The only problem there is what there is a risk or a possibility na pag nawala na yung mga taong magjo-join sa kanit, kung kanino mang underlings yan. Kasi that's a possibility, right? Kawawa yung mga late sumali. Sila yung mawawalan, right? Now, if you have extra money and you feel like you wanna try it out, you know, by all means, it's it's not wrong it's you have control over what you have sa katunayan mga kanoy pi may mga kilala ako na sumali na sa Ethereum or sa Forsage right uh, and they show a screenshot of their GCash man 12,000 pesos 25,000 pesos ang laki ang laki talaga and the system is designed to be that way especially that it's no and if you're if you're lucky enough and you got into a similar scheme uh, early in the company's life then you gain more then good for you it's just my personal opinion that one i don't like the fact that it's a gifting system two i don't like i don't like the fact that you're going to recruit and lastly i uh, i don't like the idea of an imaginary money right i don't like the idea of an imaginary currency i'm not saying that bitcoin and, and cryptocurrencies are imaginary per se uh, of course there are some that's already been legitimized legitimized and legalized by our system and widely used um, it's just that i have very less confidence because uh, i know that there's somebody from way way above that is benefiting from it. So, yun lang for today, mga kanoy. Gusto ko lang ibahagi sa inyo yung sagot ko sa mga nagtatanong kung ano sa palagay ko ang Ethereum for Saj. And I think it's a it's a pyramid scheme. Uh, they say it's not an investment. They say it's a system. But I don't want to encourage people to do that. Kasi I am not a fan of a gifting system or a pyramid business model. Okay? So, that's it for today, mga kanoy. I'll see you all on my next video. Please keep safe and enjoy the rest of the day. Bye for now.